Welcome to part 12 of the Wu playthrough. Today we'll be taking on the Battle of Heifei as Ganning. Now, in the past Dynasty Warriors games, the Battle of Heifei was infamous for one reason and one reason alone. If you were playing on Wayside, Wu would definitely pull out some devious traps in Dynasty Warriors 4, while Dynasty Warriors 3 Wu or Wei or Shu, because Shu also played in that event, in that game, would throw out their strongest soldiers and make it a tough time. Now, Dynasty Warriors 5, on the other hand, you had to do whatever you could to try to protect Sun Quan from Zhang Liao, as Zhang Liao would literally break the bridge and prevent you from even getting to Sun Quan. This game, you have to try to get, well, that's nice. Oh, well, I was trying to say, oh yeah, they had a bet, and this is automated, because if you try to get a hundred kills, at least before Ling Tong, They'll probably praise you, it's a rare chance that it happened, cuz, it only happened to me once. But Ling Tong will sometimes get more kills than you, other times, they won't. They just acknowledge that contest for some unknown reason. Anywho... Now we're about to reach some more problems. As Zhang Liao is definitely trying to get the better hand over the Wu army. Hmm, who knew Zhang Liao was a strategist? More importantly, who knew Zhang Liao would actually think? I mean, the guy actually did nothing more than fight, and he was a warrior hanging under Lu Bu, so I didn't think he would actually use such strategy. But oh boy. We'll have to do our best to protect Sun Quan now. If you dilly-dally as far as this mission is concerned, you will lose this mission, because Sun Quan will be defeated. Keep that in mind. Oh yeah, and Ling Tong has to be alive too. I will see to avenging my fallen. Oh great. Here he comes. Now then. Let's see to it that Sun Quan walks away alive from this battle. What? Gan Ning is all fired up? Ugh. He's the last person I want to lose to. Yeah, you better believe he's fired up, Biatch! I am Zhang Liao. It's Zhang Liao! It's really him! The mighty Zhang Liao, huh? Ha! Let's see how mighty he really is. Oh, here we go. That persistent bastard is here. Time for us to take him down before he causes any trouble. But first, nothing we can do about this. Human shield! Oh, God, that had to hurt. Damn those Dynasty Warriors 3 archers. They're so broken. No, I'm not kidding, folks. The archers in Dynasty Warriors 3 are a pain in the ass. And now they off Taishi C, man. Bullshit. Well, there went Zhang Liao. Damn. We will keep our lord safe. Well. Time to get out of here because we're in serious dire straits. After all, Taishi Sir just died after getting caught in an ambush. Damn. You didn't think.
think after all this time, the archers wouldn't be that much that bad, but damn, they wanted killed Taishi C. That literally is Dynasty Warriors 3. Uh, that's why I tell you, don't ever leave without projectile invincibility seal. Otherwise, he would have lived a longer life. Oh, and, and as far as for Dynasty Warriors 3 is concerned, bow armor helps. Or was it Nomin armor? Yes, Nomin armor helps. I should sir is dead. This is all that's left of us. You and I can't afford to be fighting amongst ourselves anymore. Wait, Ganning talking sense? That's new. Ling Tung, you go and protect our lord. And I'll do what I can to protect the both of you. Oh. There you go again, trying to act all tough. I think he's trying to. Oh, Lord, you, the old man. Yeah, I think he's trying to. That makes some sense out of this situation. But that still sucks that Taishi says died, man. We must escape from here. Damn those archers! Taishi's death will have been in vain. Well, anyway. You're right. Thankfully, they gave us a break and reprieve. Hard for our Lord. It's our you might want to prepare for this one. If you have the most powerful nunchuck unlocked, buy it. As, much as, you act like enemies, you as a matter of fact, if you have anything well that you need to buy that you want to switch with Don't push him. He's uh, Ling Tong, buy it. Buy whatever you can because there's hey, going to be a lot of officers that's powerful. And more importantly... There's Shang Liao. You want to try to quickly get rid of any officer that stand in your way for this next battle. It always helps to have a rival. So with that said, it, it, now would be a great time to equip whatever powerful seals you have. Did I say quick? I meant uh, equip. So in short, running away is the best option. Lord Taishert Sir may be satisfied. And look at this guy right here. He's just like, oh no, no. And yet, ah, what a waste that was. No emotion, man. He's not even crying. Zhang Liao is just terrifying. Where does he get that strength? This is sort of the same guy who's terrified of Lu Bu. Ah, boy. It doesn't matter. I think we're done here. Let's try to escape. Ling Tong, we can no longer afford to let you be driven simply by your emotions. He was never driven by his emotion. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. They had that little bet. There is no need to be overly critical of yourself. However. You know what you must do. All right, yeah, folks. Yeah. I need to work together with Gan Ning to protect our lord. Here's why I told you to get the most powerful weapons you got and the most powerful seals that you have. Because trust me, you're going to need them, as you're going to have to protect both Gan Ning and Sun Quan from this battle. You have to make sure that they all escape safely. And if they don't, well, guess what? You'll have to re do this part all over again. And that would royally suck if you did. Cause guess who comes out every time in this particular part? Shang Liao. Thankfully, he doesn't, like, come back every time he's defeated. But he comes back at least three times. I promise you he does. I do believe he does come back three times. Instead of coming back every time he's been defeated like in Dynasty Warriors 5. That's the most persistent son of a bitch that I've ever seen. Oh, yay! Cao Cao ends up in the middle of the fray. We can't let the enemy units meet. Yep, we're screwed. We have to stop them. Be ready to fight for your lives. Here goes nothing. So now we not
suddenly have to take out the guys he's trying to take out Sun Quan. But at the same time, we have to cut off the reinforcements, because once the reinforcements meet, well, that's going to be a huge dog pile on the enemy commander. And as I said before, all of the computer operated officers will gun after the persons of interest. They will try their best to complete their mission's objectives without fail. Even if it means ignoring you completely. I must retreat. This is not the end. So Yes, that's it. And We're almost the there. I'm going to need to redouble my efforts. I'm gonna have to make sure that oh crap. I gotta stop these guys right there. I gotta say, I like Lin Tong's uh, special, it's just the fact that again, it's a grapple. And if grapples missed... Oh, you son of a bitch! He's back again! I mean, I like grapples, but if they missed, they would just cause a shockwave, leaving your character wide open after the Musou's off with. That's what I was trying to say. Before Shang Liao appeared and interrupted me. And again... Shang Liao is just... Shang Liao! Oh, funny thing! You can actually download the Conquest mission to get Shang Liao's original weapon, as along with a lot of other people's original weapons. It costs a lot of money on Xbox. Well, it doesn't really cost a lot of money. It costs, like, maybe... 50 cents, or... A dollar on Xbox Live or something like that. But for the time being, I don't have anything like that. Alright, does it cost like... No, I think it costs more than that. It costs like about... Five dollars. But you can play that on Conquest Mode. And unlock... Zhang Liao's... Uh, Blue Wyvern. This is not the end. And from there, you'll see Shang Liao with his blue Weber instead of these two twin axes he has. Not like he actually will declare them. Well, I beat Zhang Liao. Cause basically nothing special happens to, with Zhang Liao. You just gotta make sure that you get Gan Ning. Make sure Gan Ning actually gets to the escape point as well. Speaking of which, there's like three officers right behind him. Uh, I spend my life looking after that irresponsible fool. Once again, you gotta make sure this guy makes it to the finish line, or the escape or the escape point. One of the two. Yeah, many people hate escort missions, especially the escort missions in this game, because the AI is normally stupid. But thankfully, Gan Ning does just stand there and fight. He actually runs. So I gotta give him credit on that one. At least he's smart enough to run away. Well, I take it back. He's not smart enough to run away. He actually turned around and fought. Well, that's nice. He literally stood there and was fighting back. Even though he was supposed to retreat. Great. You know what? I blame this ambush on Gan Ning. And you want to know why? Oh, son of a bitch, he's back. Anyway, I said... I blame this ambush on Gan Ning because of the bells. And you want to know what's even worse? This time around, this final battle with Zhang Liao, he actually rallies, so you're pretty much in for a very long fight. 
He's up this defense, he's up this attack, and he's up to speed. Beware, because he'll also charge his Musa and attack you, so be careful. I still find that unfair that they're able to charge Musa and we can't. We have to use a freaking seal that in turn lowers the defense. Ah, oh, he missed me and aimed for him. Take this! Ooh! Get back here! Woo! That was close. Well, they made it! What are you waiting for? Retreat! Retreat! Hey there. John Ning. Do you remember how many you beat? Huh? You're not still doing that, are you? How about we start again from scratch? New stakes. The loser buys the winner drinks for a year. Huh. Sounds good to me. All right. Not again. Maybe next time. Their attempt to capture Hefei ended in failure. However, as a result of the battle, Wei pulled back its forces, and Xu's safety was secured. As a show of gratitude, Liu Bei offered to return the lands of Jing to Wu. However, Guan Yu, who had been in charge of Jing's defense, remained there as per Zhuge Liang's instructions. Wu cursed the duplicity of Xu, but as long as the mighty Guan Yu remained, there was little they could do. After repeated negotiations, Wu and Xu agreed to split Jing in two between them. With the problem of Jing behind them, Xu then moved to attack Wei at Hanjiang. Guan Yu also joined the fray moving north to attack Wei's stronghold of Fan Castle. However, they were unaware that they were playing right into Cao Cao's hands. Immediately, Cao Cao moved to form an alliance with Sun Quan. For as long as Guan Yu was in Jiangling, neither Wei nor Wu could rest easy. Wei would lure Guan Yu out, and Wu would strike him from behind. Sun Quan agreed to the plot against Guan Yu, and sent Lu Xuan along with his best troops to Jing. He did this despite knowing that doing so would stain his honor and brand him a traitor, and that this would cause immense grief to the sister he had given to Xu in marriage. We went from pissing off So-So to now pissing off Liu Bei. We're going to attack Fawn Castle in part 13. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time.